Hey guys, so I wanted to go through and give you an explanation on what is going on with this assignment, this balancing equations assignment. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, ask you guys to give me 50 correct answers. Now you may be thinking to yourself, oh my, 50 in a row? That's ridiculous. Well, here's the thing, I don't expect you to get 50 in a row. I said 50 correct answers. Now you can do this this assignment, this practice quiz that I have here, you can find the link just below this video. Uh, you're gonna do this as many times as you want. Maybe you're, uh, today you, can, you don't have a whole lot of time, so you only wanna to wanna to do five. You go through and you get five out of five. Great job. Well, you still need to get 45 more correct answers. So later on, you might wanna do 25, and you get 20 out of 25. So that's 5 plus 20, 25 correct answers so far. And you're like, okay, you know what? I just want to run through this real quick. So you do 50. You blast through all 50. You do it really quickly. Uh, and you only get 25 out of 50. Well, so far you have 5 correct answers. You have 20 correct answers. And you have 25 correct answers. That adds up to 50. So take screenshots at the end of each one of these quizzes and it'll show uh, it'll tell me how many you have correct as long as they add up to 50 you're good you're grand you're wonderful all right then um so yeah just do that uh as far as quiz type there's a couple of options here you can say balancing only where they just give you the formula right off uh identifying only where you have to, they'll say things like sodium chloride, and you have to tell me what Na, uh, that sodium chloride is NaCl. Uh, or if it's something like potassium chromate, it's gonna be, you know, K, uh, what is that? Kr, or K2Cr2O4, uh, uh, CrO4. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna be uh, something that you're gonna have to may have to look up some polyatomic ions. This is pretty much challenge mode. Or you can do both, where it's a mix, mix and match, mix and match. So, um, your call, I'm only gonna require you guys to do balancing, but if you want a little, if you're wondering to yourself, I'm not too great on identifying, you may wanna throw that in uh, to help out. So this is a way of making these a little bit more uh, harder, but it um, will help you uh, remember those identification skills. So let's go through and let me show you what this is all about. I'm only going to do five right now, balancing only, because this is going to be just a, uh, an explanation. Hit start, go, and you'll see this, okay? If you read here, you want to find the smallest possible coefficients. Blank is equivalent to one. Um, some of these are um, this gives a little reminder on how to balance. But let's just kind of go through here. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> so we have here our first reaction, okay? Uh, I always like to start off with not oxygen or hydrogen and try and keep these polyatomic ions together. Uh, this looks like it is something strange because we're going to have a, um, a replacement single replacement where we replace copper with these H2s and then one of these SO4s is going to turn into SO2. Okay, so this is a, uh, a little bit a little bit interesting. All right, so copper. Copper is one and one. So far, so good. Here we have, we know we're going to have at least two sulfurs on this side, so we're going to have to change this to a two. Okay, so far, so good. Now, since we know we're going to have two H2, so that's going to be four hydrogens. So that means this has to change to two, so we can have two hydrogens there. All right. Let me uh, pull out my marker. So now let's go with oxygen. Oxygen, two times O4. That means that we're going to have eight oxygens. And on this side, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. We're done. We have eight and eight oxygens. So they're nice and balanced. Uh, we can go through and double check to make sure copper, one and one, sulfur, two and two, hydrogens, 
4 and 4, oxygens 8 and 8. And so we're done. Hooray! Let's go through with this next one. Uh, this next one, one thing I like to do, uh, or yeah, don't worry about it. All right. So um, with this next one, iron oxide goes to, or I'm sorry, iron hydroxide goes to iron oxide and water. So let, again, same thing as before. Iron first, iron, iron two. So that means we need to have at least two here. Okay. So now let's go through and do hydrogens next. We're going to have three hydrogens two per molecule. There's two molecules, so that means we're going to have six hydrogens on this side. And over here, H2. So let's switch this to a three. So now that we have six hydrogens on that side. All right. Now let's look at oxygens. Oxygen on this side, we have uh, three per molecule, two molecules. We have six oxygens. And over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six oxygens. And we're good. All right. Got that one done. Uh, this one's potassium iodide going to lead nitrate or potassium iodide and lead nitrate turn into potassium nitrate and lead iodide. This is actually a really fun reaction because lead iodide is a bright yellow. It's actually the pigment used in uh, road lines, those yellow road lines. Uh, so that that's uh, uh, lead iodide. iodide. It's fun. All right, but let's go through and balance this thing. So potassium first. Potassium one and one. We're good. Iodine. One and two. Oh, so I have to switch this to a two. And since I switched that, the potassium's now a two, so this has to turn to a two. Okay. Lead, one and one. We're good. Nitrate, if we keep all this nitrate together, that's two nitrates and two nitrates. So we're good on this. Okay. Next one, ammonia plus uh, nitrogen monoxide um, going to pure nitrogen and water. Great, grand, wonderful. So here we have two nitrogens on the reactants, two nitrogens on the products, we're good. Uh, we have three uh, uh, hydrogens here and only two hydrogens here. Hmm. So to balance these out, one thing that uh, you can kind of do is do that whole crisscross thing, right? So if I can, I can say uh, two in H three and three H two O. Now I have two times three is six, and three times two is six. So now we have six hydrogens on both sides. Okay. Ooh, but we we goofed. Now we have something uh, wrong here. Well, if I turn this to a two, and I turn this to a two, now we have four nitrogens on this side, and four nitrogens on this side. So now we're now we're doing pretty good. All right. So now we go on to oxygen. This is where uh, we can get some weirdness going on. On the reactant side, we only have two oxygens over here, and for this now we have three oxygens over here. Oy. Okay, this is going to, looks like it's going to be a problem. Um, again, what we can kind of do is triple everything on this side and double everything on this side. If we do that, things should wor start working out. So since we're tripling things here, six, six, double everything here, four and six, I think that will work out. Now, let's double check. 
Uh, one method, if you're kind of in, running into a complicated one like this, is just to kind of have our reactants and our products. Reactants and products. Uh, and we have nitrogen, we have oxygen, and we have hydrogen. And on this side, we have nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. And just kind of count them up. So nitrogens. On the reactants, we have uh, 12, right? And over here, we have 8. Hmm. Okay, right. So we need to have... So that right there tells us that we need to have, what, four more here? Turn that to a six. Okay. So that fixed that. This turns into 12. We're good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, now, oxygens. We have six oxygens on the reactant side. And we have six oxygens on this side. So far, so good. Okay, six times three is what? Six times three. Well, now we have six t six across the board. Interesting. Okay, so I must have I must have missed messed up somewhere. All right, restart. Sometimes it's best just to restart. Okay. Two and two, two and two. Hydrogens. So we want six hydrogens on here, six hydrogens here. But now we have three nitrogens and two nitrogens, which means I can now flip this to four and four. So far, so good. Now we have three oxygens and two oxygens. So if I turn this to a four, four oxygens and four NO2, four times two is eight, eight, so that won't work. I think what we're going to have to do is balance the hydrogens first with this one. So if we balance hydrogens first, that means we're going to need to do 3 and 2. Okay. So then that means we're going to need 3 NOs. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. No, four, five. We have five nitrogens. And we can't do five divided by two. But what we can do is double everything. So now we can go through and say we have four. 10 and change that to a 5. There we go. Whenever you have diatomic molecules like that, there's going to be a, that trick that I just did. Um, diatomic molecules are uh, can be a problem. So if you see a diatomic molecule um, and you start running into a situation where it's like, ah, this just doesn't work, 
do your diatomic molecule at the very last. All right, this next one. Again, we see a diatomic molecule. Let's save that for the very last. Uh, potassiums are one and one. Oxygens, one and one. Diatomic, so now we have two hydrogens and three hydrogens on this side. Okay. Um, I can't have half a H2. So let's go through and double everything. Doubling everything means that my oxygens are still two and two. Potassiums are two and two. And now I have four hydrogens. So on the reactant side, one, two, three, four on this side. All right, grade it. All right, correct, 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 correct. Five out of five. So you're going to go through and uh, by Friday, go through and get me 50 uh, correct answers. We went through and just did five. Here's the thing. If you go through and you get stuck on one, like I did, uh, for four, and you try it, and you're like, this is just taking way too long. If you feel like it's taking too long, write it down, write down the problem, and go ahead and just get it wrong. Keep going, and you know, you're know you one, one down. You, you'll just have to get a different one correct later on. Okay, you go through and do that. All right, so you, even if you get all of them correct, I still have 45 left to go. You can say load more problems, take a picture of that first, and now I have another bunch to go. Hooray. All right. Uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys, you know, uh, realize that some of these can be, you know, uh, a bit difficult even for me. I still get messed up every so often. So don't feel bad if you are uh, getting, uh, getting frustrated with it. So go through 50 of them. Bye Friday. All right, guys. Have a good one.